Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Keeping Welcome back to another tech talk video where the tech does the talking. Now, I haven't uploaded a video, one of the, one of these videos in a while. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I haven't any content, and now I do have content. So here we are. I'm a little bit sick, so ignore my uh, my voice. But uh, I just want to get right into this because it's there's a lot of stuff to talk about today. Firstly, Windows 11. You guys probably heard about this. Obviously, a lot of leaked information was out there, kind of giving us an idea of this potential release, and it looks pretty good, if you're gonna ask me. Now, the common consensus around people is it's it looks nice, it looks pretty decent, but is it a Macintosh ripoff? Is it just an iOS or a Mac OS ripoff? Is it? We we don't know. I mean, it looks like it kind of is, as in the aesthetics and the design model seems to look like a bit of a mimicry of the uh, Mac OS. But a lot of people are saying, well, it's just the visuals. And I guess there's a reason to why people like Apple laptops. It's probably the UI, mainly the UI. Um, it's just very smooth. It's very user friendly, easy to access. And anyone from the ages of five to 99, I guess, can use it. And it's very easy. And that might be something that Windows is trying to implement in their new UI which I think is quite awesome. Now, the question here is there's a lot of issues going on regarding the CPU issues with Windows 11, like, oh, your, your computer can't run a Windows 11, you cannot install Windows 11 because your CPU is not supported. There's a lot of these going around. Usually OS or OSs in general uh, are not necessarily CPU heavy, um, but in this case, it seems to be that my Windows 11 is taking up a lot of your CPU power. Sorry, like I said, <laughs> I'm kind of sick. Personally speaking, I think this isn't much of an issue. Uh, for me as as well, because I do have a Ryzen 7 3900, 3700X, which is in the list of recommended CPU, supported CPUs, which is also in the description below. You can go find out. There's a list of all the CPUs. Go find out if your CPU is supported or not. Am I going to upgrade or not is the next question to discuss, and I probably am going to upgrade, but my, maybe not immediately so after a launch, because obviously every beginning, every launch will have bugs and a lot of um, instabilities, a lot of crashes. Anyways, to conclude this Windows 11 talk, should you upgrade or not? Yes, but not now. Take a month or two before the release. They start to release a lot of these patch updates. And once people out there have said, oh, it's worth upgrading, then go ahead and upgrade. It is free. It's something I should have mentioned earlier. The upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 is completely free. So that's pretty cool, actually. So it shouldn't be much of an issue for people who want to upgrade down to Windows, upgrade up to Windows 11. Uh, upgrade down to Windows 11. Trust me, it's not. It doesn't seem like a huge step down. As a matter of fact, they they did say Windows 10 is the last Windows ever, but Windows 11 doesn't feel like it's an entirely new OS like Windows 10 was for Windows 7. But it is a is a a rough step up or an improvement per se. Uh, so it might be quite worth it for you guys. Next up, AMD. What about AMD? Of course, I'm going to be talking about the Razer Blade 14 AMD version. Now, I have been waiting for this for a long ass time. As a matter of fact, I was in the market for a Razer laptop around last year, and I remember going in the Razer uh, forums because I'm, as you guys know, I'm quite familiar with Razer. I have a lot of uh, engagement towards the community there. I was, in, I'm in the forum, and I went around looking at people with their opinions about a potential AMD Razer um, tie-up and. We were discussing the possibility that this year they might release something like that. And I did say that I'm considering buying a, a, a Blade 15 from last year, but I really wanted to wait out just for the Blade 14 to come out. I mean, not necessarily Blade 14, but the AMD version of Razer, because I really like AMD right now. And what I, what I, what I said there is exactly what happened. Uh, we just got ourselves an awesome, awesome Ryzen Razer laptop. Blade 14 is probably the best Razer laptop ever. When they first released the refurbished Blade 14, it was considered to be one of the best laptops of the year, and for a well enough reason, its build factor, form factor is just so nice. It's 14 inches, of course. It's not that big, but not too small either. It's the perfect size for a regular average human being, and especially for productivity and gaming. But but guys, realize that this is a Ryzen laptop, meaning that it can not only run games, but is really, really good for other productivity. For instance, this laptop could go up to an RTX 3080, a GPU that is found nowhere 
which I will get into later on. This Razer laptop uses a Ryzen 5 900HX, a processor that no other laptop in the market has right now. Um, at least not any laptop that is gaming or well known has the HX processor. Even the Asus Zephyrus 14 or, or G14 or G15 doesn't have HX. They use 4800 or 4900HS, which is a step down from the HX. Now you'll be wondering, HX is such a powerful processor. How is it going to be able to run in this tiny ass laptop? Good question. I thought of the same thing. But these guys have managed to work out a super, super, super cool internal system where the heating and the cooling system there is just phenomenal razor is known for its cooling systems it's not necessarily too hot but these the fans do get pretty loud at some point but the main thing that everyone's here for is the runtime as in how long can you use the laptop without it dying 12 hours i think that is a pretty pretty good time limit 12 hours for a gaming laptop cannot seem quite high but it is trust me when you're playing on a windows computer especially a laptop playing for 12 hours is going to be a very big advantage now this is probably lowest settings with the lowest amount of usage 12 hours that they've got this benchmark but if you're looking for a full-on depth review i cl i clearly don't have a blade 14 i'm planning on buying it but i might wait for the next version i'm not so sure but other people have gotten, of course, I'll go on YouTube, you can find a lot of reviews, uh, a few of them in the link in the, in the description below, a lot of good ones. You can take a look and if you want one, you can just buy one, of course. Just tell Razer that I sent you so I can get sponsored. <laughs> Last topic for today, GPU shortage. Yes. Now this topic, I don't think is ever going to end because it's a very common thing that we're all facing. A question that we've been asking ourselves in the tech industry is if GPUs are nowhere to be found, then should we just stick with laptops? There's always been some prejudice towards laptop usage, especially for gaming. But in this day and age, especially in 2021, transitioning from 2020 to this new COVID era we're living in, it's really difficult to find GPUs, mainly because of miners who are at home and also a lot of gamers because people are just staying home nowadays, working from home. They're gonna need faster computers, faster processing powers. So they're getting GPUs and a lot of their kids are home, nothing to do, buy them a GPU, buy them a PC, let them play games. And this is why we're losing a lot of our GPU shortage. I mean, this is why we're having a lot of shortage. Question here is how long will we be in this limbo? And it's a kind of a tricky question to ask because we don't know how long this Corona thing is gonna last. And even if it does last for a long time, it's not necessarily going to affect the GPU shortage as much as you think, because countries who manufacture them like like China might not be in a position to allocate more energy and resources to produce these, uh, to manufacture these products just for exports. So we might have to think about how long it will take for the entire economy, worldwide economy to recover just for, C for, just for this uh, market alone which is a question that no one really knows the answer to. But let me answer this one question a lot of people have been asking me recently. Is it worth buying GPUs? I have a lot of friends who are out here who know that I'm the kind of the PC guy out there, who, at least in their friend circle, and they come and ask me, Adrian, is it worth buying a GPU now? Where can I get the best GPU for the lowest prices? And I'm like, just maybe hold on for that for a while. Because GPUs right now are almost inflated like 70 to 80% of their original markup. Now, honestly, that's a bit ridiculous. Like my GPU right now, the RTX 2080 Super, when I bought it, it was around $900. But if I was to sell the used one, this has been used for more than a year. If I was to sell this now, I'd be selling it more for when I bought it brand new. And that's quite insane because a used product is selling for more than it was when I bought it for new. That's how crazy the market is right now. So I wouldn't recommend buying any GPU, especially the RTX 30 series. You're not going to find, well, you might find them, but you'll just find them above $1,200 USD, which is a ridiculous amount you're, you're going to be spending. And especially because you'll be buying them off of scalpers who are, the only, who are the main ones who have access to these to begin with. So I wouldn't really recommend buying uh, GPUs right now. And another question, final question that I get all the time, will we ever get MSRP? MSRP, not people know this, but it stands for Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price. Will we ever get GPUs off of that? Yes, but no. Yes, you will get it eventually, but no, not now. 
because of scalpers, said scalpers. It's always scalpers. My first video going back to the tech talk one, scalpers. It's always them. They're always the culprits in this. And uh, unfortunately, I know how sad it is, but we're not gonna get any good prices on GPUs until we get rid of the scalper issue and until we get rid of the corona that's going around the world and destroying people with phase three, phase four. <sighs> really quite sad anyway guys that was it for today's tech talk video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sorry if i don't sound as enthusiastic as usual i'm just not feeling very well i only recorded this because i realized that i don't have a lot of videos on youtube right now and i have some content and i thought why not just make a video and here we are as always i hope you guys are staying safe if you ever have any questions about any of the topics i just discussed or any other topics you have to ask you want to ask me feel free ask me in the comment section below if not, if you want to be a little bit personal, you know, hit me up on Instagram. The link's in the description below. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Stay safe and peace out.